Welcome in folks to another Fallout 76 video and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at some of the benefits of joining the Enclave after you've launched your first nuke in Fallout 76. But before we get into the video, if you can remember to click that like button so that more people in the Fallout 76 community can see this and if you feel you're missing out on videos, consider clicking that bell notification button so that you can keep up to date whenever I post a new video. So as always folks, let's get into it! So yesterday I posted part 2 on my guide for players who haven't launched a nuke before in Fallout 76 and showed players how to navigate their way through a missile silo, which you can find here, and I'll also link those videos in the description below. However, in today's video and with the great suggestion made by a user over on Twitter who just in case for privacy reasons might want to remain nameless, suggested mentioning about a few benefits on joining the Enclave and how to make your nuking experience even better. And that's exactly what we're going to do. If you watched part 1 to my nuking guide, you will have seen that during the process of gaining access to the missile silos, you will have had to join the Enclave and made the rank of General which Modus in the White Springs Bunker bestows upon you. Through here you can head out and track down your key cards and missile silo codes to launch your very first nuke, however there are some extra benefits when getting these privileges. If you make your way back into the control room in the White Springs Bunker, you can make your way into the armory located there and from here you will have access to the Modus Armory Terminal in which you can purchase the likes of weapons ranging from Ghost Rifles, Gatling Plasmas, Enclave Theme Apparel, plans to craft weapons, mods for these weapons and also as well ammunition. However, there is one extremely valuable asset that Modus has available which is the Missile Silo State Holotape. This holotape, if you're launching nukes, is extremely beneficial as this holotape will give you a live feed of each of the nuclear silos, Alpha, Bravo and Charlie, and show you the approximate time that that silo will be available to launch another nuke from, and if any nukes have been launched on the server that you're on. If you join a server and see that the tape reads, time to open is 0 hours and 0 minutes, this means that the silo is available to launch a nuke from. However, if the tape reads anything bar what I've just mentioned, it means a nuke has previously been launched from there and you'll need to wait until the time shown on the tape has reached zero before you can re-enter that particular silo. So as you can see, if you're joining any server, be it a public or private server, this can be very beneficial for you to know whether or not you should stay on that server or whether or not you should head to another particular silo. Now, I will mention that if you missed it during your progression of the Enclave questline, you are given a Missile Silo State holotape during the Officer on Deck quest, so make sure to check your holotape section in your Pip-Boy, however, if you've misplaced it or possibly dropped it or put it away, you can always purchase another one from the Modus Armory under the holotape section of his inventory. The next beneficial thing about joining the Enclave, and you might have possibly missed it unless you fully explored the terminals in the Armory, is that if you head over to these red terminals and enter the Archival Terminal and select the option Schematic Archives and then select the option Prototype Power Armor Schematics, you will have the plans deposited in your inventory for the X01 Power Armor. You can then, if you have the materials and a Power Armor chassis, craft an entire suit of X01. However, don't worry, if you're looking for the modifications for the suit, such as calibrated shocks, jetpacks, headlamps, etc., you can head over to the production facility in the White Springs Bunker and purchase all of the plans you need for the suit. I will add a cool little side note here is that if you want, you can purchase the X01 Headlamp Vault Boy plan and once attached to your helmet and once you switch it on, you'll get a cool little bluey green image of a Vault Boy projecting out of your headlamp. Now, I will add sometimes it can be a little bit distracting, but it's a cool little modification to add onto your suit, even if you want to take some cool screenshots with a nice bluey green effect coming from your eyes. There are a ton of other great benefits too, such as access to unique Enclave weapons, Enclave armor mods and much more. However, another great benefit is that if you head over to the genetics lab in the White Springs Bunker, you will be able to purchase serums from the Modus Science Terminal that you can craft at a chemistry station to give yourself whichever mutation that you want. I will note that Modus does provide serums already crafted in the aid category of his inventory at a much cheaper option compared to the cost of learning the plans which in fairness are extremely pricey. However, if you don't have the caps to purchase plans like this, like I said, he will have crafted serums you can purchase in the aid category. However, to mention, if you can't see the serums you want, you can always hop to another server and come back here as his inventory will change depending on what server that you're on. Or if you're playing with a friend, they can always check his inventory and see if those particular serums are available for them and if they're generous enough, they can always purchase that serum for you. And there you have it folks, that's some of the benefits on joining the Enclave in Fallout 76. 
Hopefully these videos will have helped you in your journey on nuking and also the process of joining the Enclave. And if you liked this video and found it beneficial, consider hitting the subscribe button for more Fallout 76 guide videos in the future. Until then, a big shout out again to the user over on Twitter for suggesting about these benefits and thank you for the feedback. As mentioned in each of my videos, that if you'd like to connect with more people who play Fallout 76 and want to join our community, you can join my Discord server, which I'll leave in a link in the description below. If you also like the work that I produce and want to support me in a more personal way, you can now subscribe to me on Patreon. Patreon members will get a host of benefits such as access to Patreon-only channels and my Discord server where you can connect with other Patreon members and much more. I want to also say a massive thank you to all of my supporters because with your help and as mentioned before, I've recently become a Bethesda brand ambassador. So if you find yourself purchasing any items from the Bethesda gear store and want to support me, you can use my code BTPINEAPPLE76 to receive 20% off your purchases at checkout. I will note that the code on screen will expire May 17th, so to you, the fans and the supporters, enjoy. However, if you're watching this video after May 17th, the code on screen will have expired. However, I'll make sure to update my code at the end of each of my videos, so make sure to check out future content. I want to also say a massive thank you to all of my followers over on Twitch and here on YouTube, as it means the world to me that you enjoy my content and the work that I produce. And lastly, to you, the viewer, the person who stumbled upon this video, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, Vault Dwellers, stay safe out there in the wasteland, happy nuking, and I'll catch you all in the next video.